New at noon, the Federal Aviation Administration has released its preliminary report into a deadly plane, plane crash at Lake Winnipesaukee. The FAA classifies the crash as an accident but said it occurred under unknown circumstances and the plane was in a quote unknown phase of its flight. The, the pilot was killed when the single engine plane crashed into the lake after 8 p.m. on Saturday. Divers found the pilot's body yesterday. Witnesses who live nearby say it's not uncommon to see planes flying overhead because they are so close to the Laconia Municipal Airport. It was a little bit foggy, but we saw what appeared to be an aircraft coming in um, more or less towards us, which is certainly not ordinary. The runway is over there and it, and it was throttling up and then dying out and it throttled up one last time and then it disappeared from our view. We could see the lights and then we couldn't see the lights. How scary. The pilot's name has not yet been released. A man who identified himself as the victim's brother told News 9 that the pilot was flying to Laconia from Rhode Island. And that was the third incident incident in Guilford involving a plane in less than three months on August 15th. A small plane went off the runway at Laconia Municipal Airport. No one was hurt there. On July 30th, a small plane crashed at the airport. The pilot was the only person on board and did suffer minor injuries.